Hey guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today we're going to talk about using the built-in step counter in your Nexus 5. It came with one in terms of hardware, but you do need a piece of software or an app to take advantage of it. We found a good one here called Pedometer, and it's by the app developer Javelin, spelled J4VELIN. If you go ahead and search that on the Play Store and install it, we'll open it up and check it out. Off the bat, I'd like to check into settings. One of the first things you always check into, right? Let's see what we got here. Uh, top thing is goal. It's like how many steps you want to want to set as a goal for your day, and uh, it'll it'll reflect that on the home screen of the app. Let's see. Step size is an important one here. It comes in kilometers for us Americans out there. That may not might not make too much sense. So you go ahead and change that into feet, and the average American stride is about two and a half feet. So we'll go ahead and use that. That's what I've already put in. Uh, count you can use to sign in with Google Plus. That way you can share your data with friends and compare and look at the leaderboards and such forth. A good little social integration app aspect to the app. There's also show notification. Now this is something that a lot of Android apps have to keep them from being cleared from memory. And in this case it's actually a little valuable thing. You don't want the step counter app being cleared from memory and stopping counting of your steps. And when you look at it it's not really that bad there's actually no icon in the status bar and the notification itself isn't actually too bad it actually tells you how many steps you have to go until you reach your goal actually a little useful so we'll go ahead and leave that checked um, export import backup restore should be kind of self-explanatory but basically it'll back up and restore your data how many steps you've taken over the past however long you've had this app installed if you ever need to reinstall this app on a new phone or you need to root or modify your phone and want to keep this data. Back out to the main page you can see that uh, it, it by default counts steps that's what it shows you. If you want to you can touch that right there and it'll show you how long you've walked, how far you've walked. Pretty cool and then after you let it build up data which I haven't yet it'll show a little bar graph across the bottom comparing the last few days that you've walked to each other and to today obviously. Uh, that's about it for it so any more information go ahead and check out the full tutorial in the link below and of course uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you again next time guys. Thanks a bunch.